Hey, what's up guys? Dorian Hamilton here, doing Big on the Basics, and today I'm showing you the Skull Crusher. I attribute a lot of my, uh, a lot of my mass, my triceps to, you know, a lying um, Skull Crusher. Um, I either do this on a flat bench. The last couple of years, I've actually been doing it on a slight incline, uh, with my head actually hanging off the bench. I just fly it for some reason, it just allows my shoulders to get off the bench and I, it allows me to get a deeper stretch in my triceps. Uh, when I'm performing uh, this exercise, I see a lot of people doing it wrong. I see a lot of people doing it and it looks like it's going to lead to a serious injury. Um, when you're performing the exercise, you want to control the negative, especially if you're going, you know, using a lot of heavy weight. And uh, I like to do a slight pause at the bottom under tension, stretch, you're getting a stretch in the tricep, and when you come up, push through the long head of the tricep. Um, I sort of imagine myself pushing through the palms of my hands, right through the long head. Um, always keep my elbows slightly behind my head too. Um, it's just gonna put more tension in the tricep. So if you're lying down, your elbows are actually gonna be uh, sort of pointing behind you um, to the ceiling. So I'll show you guys what it looks like. So again, I'm up on the bench press. Sorry, I'm up on the incline bench here. And my head is just off the bench. Slow control on the way down. Feel the stretch in the triceps. Essentially, we're trying to keep our elbows together as well, not too flared. Drive. Elbows are behind our head, pointing to the ceiling. So that's how I perform my skull crushers. Um, again, you can do this on you know, it's a flat, a flat bench. As I was saying earlier, you know, a lot of people um, do this exercise wrong, which can lead to injury. And another thing I like to keep in mind when performing skull crushers is, I do them at the end of my workout. Because it is one of those exercises where you can move a lot of weight, I like to make sure that my, uh, my triceps are pretty fatigued, pretty warmed up, lots of blood, my tendons are warm. So, you know, I'll do three two or three exercises before you know, thinking about doing the skull crushers. Um, just to ensure that you know, your elbows and tendons and muscles are all warmed up and you know, ready to take on the load for the skull crusher. Mm -hmm. 